Hi, I'm Deb and welcome back to my channel, Sew Yourself a Capsule Wardrobe. It's Friday today and this is the first time I've ever done a recording for hashtag Friday Sews. So if you want to find out what I've been up to this week and my plans for my sewing for next week, stay watching. Before I start, I want to say a thank you to Angela, whose channel is Just Me and My Fabric. I've seen uh, quite a few of her videos this week whilst I've been uh, recovering from the flu. And she also does hashtag Friday Sews videos. So she's inspired me to start doing them for myself. Thank you, Angela. And of course, a big thank you to Jen, from Jen's sewing room who started the hashtag Friday Sews hashtag. Yeah, so the past couple of weeks I've had the seasonal flu um, and today's the first day I've really felt well enough to actually record a video for YouTube. Um, I've got my voice back, fortunately. It was really croaky the past couple of weeks. Um, I've spent the time resting, you know, feeling better or hoping to feel better and drinking lots of uh, ginger, turmeric and lemon tea, which has actually done the trick because tea with milk in it was really tasting horrible. So yay for lemon tea. Uh, I'm going to start by um, going through what I'd like to make for, um, well, start on next week. You probably all know that I'm not a very quick sewer at all. I only do videos once every month or so because I just don't have the time um, to sit and stitch all week. I have my own business, it's a sewing business and orders come first, as I'm sure you'll understand. So let's start off by showing the fabrics I've got out of my stash uh, to start um, sewing or the, you know, the projects I'm going to start sewing. Now today is the last Friday in January. Um, it's the 27th and there's already kind of, you know, the air of spring in the air or the feel of spring in the air. Um, and I'm thinking about making winter tops. I've, I've always been the same, you know, I'll think of something that I want to make halfway through a season or at the end of a season, whereas I really should be looking forward um, at, at this time of the year to spring and summer. Um, I don't have a huge amount of winter clothes in my wardrobe at all. I had a massive cull of clothes a, a few years ago and I just haven't replaced those clothes because I wanted to make them all myself. Anyway, that's a bit of background. Let me just show you. I mean, I've had this in my stash box for quite a while. It's some Tionite fabrics or was some Tionite fabrics. I'm not sure they still have this fabric in stock. It's a cotton and viscose um, leopard print. It's kind of a, yeah, it's quite a large leopard print, isn't it? And it's beige, browns and blacks. But I want to make in that, uh, the wardrobe by me, Trudy uh, turtleneck top, I think it's called. It's a really simple um, bodice with either a fold over neck or just a simple low collar. They're all in fashion at the moment and I want to make myself one before the winter's over. So that is the first thing on my list. I'm gonna actually, I, I put the pattern together, I stuck the PDF pattern together yesterday afternoon. So that's all ready to go. So I'm gonna cut this out this afternoon and get, and get started on it. Okay, so this next piece uh, it was a, it's a piece of stretch denim. It's called, I think it's called Darnia or Dania. It's an eight ounce stretch denim from Dalston Mill Fabrics. This is black. It looks a little bit greyish because it's obviously got the, um, the white threads woven in there as well with the fabric. It's got a good stretch. It's a lovely soft handle and it stretches really quite nicely there. Now, I've only got two pairs of decent jeans in my wardrobe. I know, I know, I'm wearing one pair at the moment. So this piece I bought before Christmas and it's destined to become the Eleanor jeans from Jaylee Patterns. I made them for, in fact, I'm wearing 
the pair I've made before. I wear them all the time. They're really comfortable. So this will make a really comfortable pair of jeans. My next piece of fabric is also a stretch denim. It's also from Dalston Mill. Um, this is dark indigo. Now you probably oh, actually you can see, can't you? Is that it's definite navy rather than black. It's got a good stretch to it, a really good stretch to it actually. It's slightly heavier than the previous denim that I've just um, held up. Um, this was only four pounds a metre. It's uh, a dead stock lucky dip. So I couldn't choose what I was going to get. All I knew it was going to be a stretch denim and it's going to be indigo. Again, that's destined to be a pair of um, Eleanor jeans from J. Lee patterns. Um, so yeah, dark denim and black stretch jeans coming up. Okay, now for a bit of a, a bonus garment. If you remember in my last video, um, I did a roundup of all the garments I'd made uh, with the Tea and Night collaboration hashtag I made it myself. And one of those uh, garments was the snare dress uh, in this fabric. Well, I had enough left over, I think, to make myself a top quite a lot of it but it's obviously cut into you can see the cut into pieces there so I don't know what I'm going to make with that I'd like to make actually just an ordinary round neck long sleeve top that I can wear with these two new pairs of jeans that I'm going to make it'll obviously fit in with my capsule wardrobe because the, the dress fits in really nicely because it's as you can see there it's pink flowers on a black background little white scattered dots on it it made up so nicely in the dress i'm not going to waste that bit of fabric so that will be a bonus garment so i think i've got three garments all together i'm sorry four garments all together haven't i i've got two pairs of jeans the trudy turtleneck and some kind of long sleeve top i'll probably make a start on those um, I'd like to be sewing all today, um, I've got all my orders for my shop done, um, like I, I actually, like I said, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I put my shop onto holiday mode last weekend to give my chan myself a chance to recover from the flu because I was, I was struggling quite a lot with it. So now my orders are all done, I can't send them out at the moment because Royal Mail have had a cyber attack so I can't send the, the post out internationally but all the parcels that are ready to go have gone if I can post them and I've got a day an afternoon free and a weekend free which is unheard of for me so I'm actually going to do some sewing and then you know crack on with what I want to do so two pairs of jeans Trudy turtleneck and a long sleeve top in my last video, I introduced my new challenge for 2023, which is hashtag make the basics. Um, I'm actually waiting on some uh, black viscose jersey to arrive from Tea Night Fabrics. I was hoping it would come this, this morning, but it hasn't. It probably is going to arrive tomorrow morning. So it will go into the washing machine and I will wash that up, ready to make. I'm, I'm actually going to make another turtleneck I think because they're all in fashion at the moment like I said and I, I don't really have I've, I've got three knitted ones which are quite heavy and they're old and I just want to get rid of them so I prefer like a, a nice fine jersey one. Make the Basics is also going to be joined with Sew the Stash I think. Um, I've got far too much fabric in my stash so I'm going to join Angela just me and my fabric um she is on a fabric buying ban at the moment so i've decided that i'm also going to be on a fabric buying ban um yeah i'm only going to buy what i absolutely need none of this recreational shopping i'm going to make my basics make a few ice icing garments that go on the basic that you know sort of um you can wear with the basics to make your, your wardrobe look a bit more put together a bit more cohesive 
but I want to use a lot of the fabrics that are in my stash already. So I want to spend this weekend as well, some other time this weekend, looking through my stash and going through and you know picking up pieces that I want to make up probably for the summer now, spring and summer. So hopefully I'll be able to show them to you next week on my second hashtag Friday sews. I think I've done enough rambling for now. So until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.